Welcome to my spring break 2018 video. We had a great time in the cabin and here's how it all goes. So here's our little cabin at Westmoreland State Park. It's not really a little cabin. It has a little deck on the outside, which we didn't really spend a whole lot of time there. It was a little chilly outside. This is our indoor porch that I absolutely love. Those rocking chairs are great. However, I think Margie was a little confused about how she could be outside, but not really be outside. Inside, it has what I call dorm furniture, <laughs> but it's very nice. You have everything you need there. It's very spacious. The place that we had actually could have fit a lot more people than just us. And there's Margie looking confused. She doesn't know if this is our new house or what. <laughs> so this is our little kitchenette. It worked out perfectly for what we needed. Um, we did some cooking and some grilling. This is the view from the kitchen. And that's Eric staring at a picture on the wall. And there's the picture. I don't know if you can see that dude's pants, but they are really high-waisted. So let's see. This is the other bedroom. This is for bunk beds. We didn't use that room at all, but it was there. Um, we thought that was cute that they gave us towel art in our bedroom, the master suite, I guess you would call it. That's her closet. Um, again, we didn't really need to use a lot of the space that was there. We mostly kept our stuff in our suitcases. There were soap dispensers over the sink and in the shower, and we actually had a pretty nice shower. We were amazed at how nice that shower was. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. And there's Margie waiting for us as we unpack and get settled. She's still got her harness on, so she knows she's going out soon. That's the visitor center where we had to check in. We took her there the first day to just kind of walk around and get used to the surroundings. As you can see, there is water in the background. There are some beaches nearby that we end up walking to later. But that's the view from the top of the, the little hill there. And there's Margie walking along a ridge. She loves ridges, and I have no idea why, but she does. And that's her after day one, conked out on the couch. And she pretty much spent all her evenings on the couch. The next day, this is us getting ready to go down to Fossil Beach. This is our first trail. And there's a little swamp that we passed on the way. And then um, the next picture, yes, there's the, the boardwalk. You can walk around the swamp a little bit on the boardwalk. Margie loves boardwalks. We don't know why. There's more of the swamp. And here is, I think coming up next is an overlook. Yes, there's Margie at the top of the overlook, which she loves going up and down steps um, outside, but not in the house. We don't know what that's about either. And um, so these are just, this is what it looks like from the overlook. That's one corner. And um, the other corner is pretty much the same. There I am finally in the picture. And I think the next one is me and Margie. Yes, there we are hanging out at the top of the overlook in the swamp. She really enjoyed that. Um, we didn't spend that much time at the beach because there was another dog that was kind of upset. Um, but we, we supposedly can find like shark's teeth and stuff there, but we didn't really have time to look around. On the way back to the cabin, Margie looks so sad, but we still had more planned for the day. It was time for us to decorate our Easter eggs because this was on Easter Sunday. And so um, we decided to use Sharpie markers because we had brown eggs. We get them from our, our um, neighborhood farm. So that's, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to dye them because um, they're brown. So we use the Sharpies. And um, we were both working diligently. I decorated two eggs. Eric decorated one because he was mostly trying to appease Margie because she wanted to know when she was going to get an egg. And that's coming up a little bit later. And so he designed a He-Man egg, which I thought his design was really cool. But again, you know, Eric has a degree in art and I don't. So of course his egg looked amazing. Um, yeah, that's his little He-Man design. So we have the pictures to remember how well he did decorating his egg. And I did a little Easter scene, which I thought was kind of cool. Well, a spring scene. Um, there's sun, a cloud. Then I did another egg um for me and eric um it's not our anniversary right now but it will be at the end of the month we'll be married for 13 years so i thought that was pretty significant so i did a stick and toy egg that's his nickname if you don't know and let's see um after that i think we took a bit of a break we were going to um 
hide the eggs so that Margie could find them later. So I think we go to the beach next. Yes, we took Margie to the beach. And remember, this is all happening in one day. The first day was kind of mellow. This is day two. So we took her to the beach and it was still kind of chilly outside, but it wasn't cold. It was actually nice outside. And Margie absolutely loved the beach. We didn't know how she would respond to actually being on a real beach, but she seemed to like it. Um, she kept trying to halfway dig up stuff. She would find something, pee on it, and then run away from it. <laughs> um, these are some rocks that I thought were very pretty, but also looked a little dangerous. I refused to get on them. But of course, um, I think Eric and Margie would get on them later. Here's another boardwalk. So we had to go on the boardwalk because Margie loves boardwalks. And let's see what else is coming up. Oh, that there. Yep, there they are on the rocks. I was so nervous because I was afraid her little paw would get stuck in one of those holes. And I think she was a little scared too, but because Eric was with her, she, you know, she did it like a champ. It was no big deal, but I was nervous. So, oh, this is an osprey nest. This was very scary because I, I wish I could have gotten a better picture of it, but that thing was huge. And the osprey was like, don't get too close to my nest. But that's funny because this area that the beach that we were on is actually the Osprey Boathouse. Okay, and this is Margie getting ready for her Easter egg hunt. I have a video coming up, so check it out. Are you ready, Margie? Are you ready for your Easter egg hunt? Go find them. Go find them. Go find them. Where are they? Go find them. You gotta go find them. Sniff, sniff, sniff. I know you smell it, don't you? Did you find it? Yay. Yay, you found one. Okay, find the other ones. Oh, shoot. Did you find it? You found it, yay! Okay, there's one more. If you find it, you get to eat it. There you go, there you go. Use your nose, use your nose. Where is it, where is it? Yay, you found it, you get to eat it. It's your first Easter egg hunt. Hey, hey, get your, get, get your, hey, get your nose. We're not going to eat the shells, sweetheart. Here. There's your egg. You found it. Yay. Okay, so the next day we took Margie for a walk around our little neighborhood to see some of the other cabins. This one was a really cute design, but I think it's smaller on the inside. I prefer the one we had. So we went down this path that actually took us over the river and through the roads, like the whole shebang. But I didn't take pictures of all that stuff because I was trying to stay on the trail most of the time. We eventually came to a little bridge that, you know, for Margie, looked like a little boardwalk. And she loves boardwalks, so we walked across it. And it took us to a little pond, eventually. So um, here's the little sitting area, and at the end of the sitting area is a little dam, and I guess that's how they made the pond. There she is trying to jump into the dam, and uh, into the pond, I mean, and Eric's holding her. She's getting too close to the dam right there. Um, made me a little nervous. It's not a, a, a big dam, but it is a bit of a drop, so I didn't get too close to that area. And we stopped here, and we had a little snack. There's the actual pond. It was very serene. Again, it was cool outside but wasn't cold and this is a funny video yeah i'm gonna try to get closer in the next frame so you can see her jumping over this mound i don't know if you saw it we're gonna look at it in slow motion here we go and watch her get some air yes it was great <laughs> all right and so then we had a little journal that was in the cabin that we could fill out and i did i filled it out every day so um eric toy and margie left our little mark for whoever comes after us we went to, read some of the previous entries too that was very interesting that was part of the experience and then um the there's us taking our picture as we're getting ready to leave from our wonderful vacation it was so nice and here's our little souvenir that we'll keep always a great thing about that cabin there was no internet access so there was no big crowd of people it was wonderful can't wait to do it again